Cloud Talker. We're gonna make an eel spear. I got some spikes. I'm back out in the shop today. Making an eel spear. And this is an ancient design. You shove it down in the mud, and then on the upswing, it'll catch the eel, so. And you shove it down in the mud. Yes, an eel spear. Now this vise, quite a tool. Take you over to my vise. Lock that in there. Oh, it's good to have the technology. Good to have it. Gonna have to clean this shop up one of these days. Oh. Pretty good. I feel like I can get right in there. Right in there on my bends. Make it. Make it count. Yeah. It's Cloud Talker, and I got one more spike to bend. And then use leverage. And remember, safety glasses, just in case she kicks back at you. Oh, yes. Oh, some of these tools need some TLC. Just keeping it in my armpit in case she jumps. Like that, see? That's what they're for. If it jumps like that. Keep a hand on it. Just take your time. Oh, this one's turning out nice. Curling in real nice. Yeah, that's good. That's a nice one. It's like a spear from Atlantis, okay? This is an ancient design. The Romans might have used something similar. Look at that deadly weapon. That's a pretty ancient design right there. It's very efficient, even if it's carved out of wood. That's a very efficient design. It goes back thousands of years. I'm going to go with the big spear. Look at that. Look at this for a weapon. I'm going to go with this. <laughs> See? I'm telling you. The ancients knew. They knew a lot. Of sacred geometry. It reminds me of a story. In Ireland, they banished and tamed all the snakes many years ago. They never left one. Yeah, in Ireland, they tamed every snake. Yeah, in Ireland, they tamed every snake. They didn't mess around with them. This is how my grandfather used to sit up against the stove. He'd have one leg way up like this, right up against the chimney of the stove. Yeah, he'd always sit there in his chair with one leg up so high. Yeah, he always had the one leg up so high, up against the chimney. <laughs> He might have had sleep at me, but he was a great man. I always loved to make people laugh. So, yeah, I was advised by my uncle not to go with the galvanized. He said that's too big anyway. What are you trying to spear? A whale? said maybe. So I'm going to use them for something else. So I went to the hardware store and I picked up some common spikes. And that way it's much cleaner to grind, much cleaner to weld. So 
So the first step is I flatten off the nail on one side. That's where it's going to bend. So you flatten it off on one side. Five more like that ought to do. Five more loads. Now, just to heat it up a little bit to help it bend. That's all I'm doing. There. Now come on to it with the hammer. An ancient design. Look at that hook. Cloud Talker's hooks. Yow! That's a good looking start. That's a great start. up at John P's and we cut this pipe off a piece of muffler pipe it's pretty heavy stuff flatten it down well <laughs> made a bit of a windbreak there it's got the same problem I got no door Those heels don't have a chance. Yeah, John P's helped me out welding up this heel spear. John P, this isn't going to be just some junky old heel spear. This ain't going to be junk. It's Cloud Talker! Look at that spear. Look at that. Gotta make a handle now. That's all that's left to do. It's Cloud Talker! Cloud Talker. And I wonder where I'll find some poles. I just fit it on a quick pole there. There it is. Do this way. Bullseye. Bullseye. Look at that. One more step. Loop it around here with a few loops. Tie it back. Right there to there. 